Hi guys, welcome to another news. Goods worth millions of Naira has been destroyed after fire got at the popular Alaba International Market in Ojo local government area of Lagos State. Reputed as the biggest electronic market in West Africa, Alaba International Market is still basking the excitement of its 40th anniversary celebration. The establishment of the Alaba International Market in Ojo, Lagos is a rich history of the metamorphosis of green feed sites to vast commerce with patronage now coming from far beyond Nigeria. It is a story that has grown from few Naira sales to transactions of billions of Naira. It was gathered that the fire incident started on Friday morning. Director of Lagos State Fire and Rescue Services, Margaret Adishai, confirmed the incident in a statement. However, she disclosed that the first the fire crew was confronted by angry mobs. Reports reaching Lagos State Fire and Rescue Services in the kids' shop at the popular Alaba market Ojo, Lagos on fire. However, fire crew from Ojo, Sari, Sari Ngomo and Ajegule were being turned back by angry mobs from, from performing their statutory duty was presently on standby. The agency is consequently collaborating with security agencies to address it. It was reported that fire has raised on the popular Alaba International Market, which is located in Ojo local government of Lagos State, destroying goods that are worth millions of naira. Reports gathered that the fire began on Friday morning from a shop where gas, gas cylinders were kept before spreading to other parts of the market. It was also learned that the traders adopted self-help methods to put out the fire before the arrival of the emergency responders. The Director of Lagos State's Fire Service and Rescue Service, Margaret Adishaye, in a statement on Friday, said the incident had degenerated into a security situation as officials of this agency were unable to gain access to the market. The statement read reports reaching Lagos State Fire Rescue Service in the kit shop of at the Alaba Market International on fire. However, fire crew from Ojo, Sorin Gomu and Ajegule were being backed, turned back by angry mobs from, from performing their statutory duty but presently on standby. Adeshaye also made it known that the agency was consequently partnering with security agencies to address the situation. Dozens of shops at the popular Alaba market in Lagos State caught it fire by traders losing and losing goods and other properties worth millions of naira to the inferno in the state. Maybe to save their goods, the traders they said it was lens have resolved to source water on their own to put out the fire after all efforts to get officials of the Lagos State Fire Services to the scene provide proved abortive. During the process, at least one person was gathered to have suffered several burns and have been rushed to the private hospital where the traders believe would adequate medical care could be re received. As gathered, the fire that disrupted commercial activities within the market in Ojo local government area started on Friday from a shop where cylinder gas was stored before spreading to the other parts. Reports in reaching Lagos State Service and Rescue indicate shops at the popular Alaba market on fire. However, fire crew from Ojo, Saria Gomu, and Ajikunle have been turned back by angry mobs for performing their from performing their statutory duty, but fire fighting trucks are presently on standby. Taking Nigeria's opinion concerning the incident, Samuel Eze said, Old Song Olu Yekini Ogunlere and also Ashwajibola Metunubu MC and others responsible for burning Igbo market and destruction of Igbo properties in the name of politics. Ayodele Otelkone said, but the report said the fire started at a gas cylinder shop. Please, there is a lot of Yoruba people that loves Igbo. Stop spreading fake and false news. Gloria said, yes, so Yoruba All Progressive Congress on fire. Plus 2-3 said, this fire started in a shop loaded with a gas cylinder. It has nothing to do with Yoruba fire. It is the type of fire that can happen anywhere, anytime. 
my heart felt sympathy with those who must have suffered losses in the inferno. Max Off said, "You guys feel like you can do business in your home. You can do business in your homes, and you choose another man's land for businesses. You can do in your place. Look at in way today. Please, my people, come home. It is not yet too late." Ojuku said this long ago. Chika Odili said, "Igbo people, think back home for your businesses. They will look for you. You people, you go." Amaka Ellen said, "It is a fake news." Joe Marshall said, which one is Igbo? Think back home. Is there anywhere Igbos don't do businesses? They should find a solution to this wicked act. It is, it is becoming unbecoming. David Olamiji said, the fire breakout at Alaba International Market is caused by a cylinder. Why calling names? Now, wow. Ruth Oliomo said, why are these people so stupid and brainless like this? The shop started with a fire belonged to an Igbo woman. Does fire reckon with pa- party or tribe? What is APC on here? Can we talk sensibly for once? John Edwards said, Igbos and their penchant to blame people. All those markets are slums now. Go there, it is a fil- it is filthy out there of order. But they are blaming your bars now as if markets don't burn in the east. As if Jumbo said, Something, something is going on that we don't know, but one the God will intervene. But we need to tell ourselves the truth because it is getting too much. All the market that Igbo guys are doing businesses is fire disaster almost every everywhere. It means worse sense we we during and after the election. Why we call ourselves one Nigeria, but we don't love ourselves, and that is why they never want an Igbo man to be a president, and it is very bad. Maxwell said, Igbos are now the most bitter enemy to all Nigerians for no obvious reason. It's high time to sort for a republic and nothing more. Romancing with the country called Nigeria is just useless venture. We have bewitched, who has bewitched you and you are, you cannot read the handwriting on the wall. Tunubu boys are the ones that burns this market. Because the stakeholders are Igbos, he just shown that Igbos in Lagos, the exit door, take it or leave it. My wonderful and amiable listeners, what are your thoughts concerning the fire that broke out in Alaba International Market? Do you also think that it is due to politics or it was just a mere coincidence or an accident? Please let us know your thoughts and your opinions via the comment section below. And don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button and I will see you on the next news. Bye for now.